You are watching a master at work. What's going on friends? Sam Pratt is back once again. We are talking resin printers today and there's nothing newer than Creality's brand new Halop Mange S, which is, can I believe it, a 14K yeah. printer. Do we need a 14K printer? Well, more K is better K, right? We, we, got, we certainly got one. So before this, we have an 8K. We had a 4K. Then we had, what was it before that? The Hallet Play is a 4K. Yes. Hallet Mage Pro and Hallet Mage are 8K. And now the Hallet Mage S 14K. Well, that's certainly okay with me. What's different about this one? This is the brand new release, resin printing from Creality. What makes it, I mean, we can up the specs, but what have we added or taken away to make this such a brilliant deal? Uh, what about air filter? Yeah. What about air quality? Because this is the number one concern of people who do resin printing or want to get into resin printing. Is, is the smell. This is the VOC or VOC. And in the side here, from what I understand, they've got an activated carbon filter that basically purifies the air as it's coming out of the machine. So ultimately the odor is removed. So the resin odor, and depending on what resin you use, depends on very much how much odor it's emitting. Because they're progressing in, in resins also. Absolutely right, absolutely right. So is, is there new resin? Does this need a special kind of resin? What's the situation with that? No, this is using regular resin. It's, I mean, 33% lower in... <coughs> if, you, if you've got resin caught in your throat there? <laughs> got he! I really get choked up. I, I really get passionate about this. In VOC, it's 33% lower. Right. So that's pretty impressive. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It seems like they're making waves. Now this, the, the original one of these had like an auto top up on them, right? Resin pump? Yeah. Yeah. That's the, the Mage Pro is the only one that has that. So they've removed that on this. Yeah, and the reason for that, apparently, according to the people that I've been talking to here, is because the users were saying that they didn't necessarily need it. So it's an accessory you could add if you want to, I guess. And the huge build plate, 10.1 inch. That's big. It, it does seem like you can make big prints. I mean, here's a print here. That's insane, isn't it? It's massive. That's insane. Well, we're gonna use this printer and we're gonna print something on it. Maybe not something as big as this, cause you know, time is of the essence. What else is new about this printer? I think it's the 14K, Sam. I think it's the, the number of pixels, right? Oh wait, Dynax Plus. Oh yeah. Speed. Speed. So I feel like if you're gonna do prototypes, and you don't care about the finished quality, right? You want to quickly do a prototype, yep. then use the Dynax Plus mode. We had Dynax mode on the Mage, Mage Pro. So that then prints at 8K instead of 14? It's 15% faster. It's 150 millimeters, right? So, so now you're yeah, getting yeah. the speedy print. Yep. And it's still good quality, but it's not the fine 14K quality. Gotcha. So, you, so you can adjust, you can still do so I'm reading, I'm reading things here. What does this 170 mean? I have no clue. I've got no clue either, but we're gonna find out what that 170 means. Does it mean that it was 150, but now it's 170? See, my Dynax Plus speed mode says max 150. Okay. I did see 170 on something else too, but I don't know why, because the Dynax Plus mode is the fast mode. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we will come back and find out a little bit about that. Maybe we'll speak to Georgia and see if she can kind of give us any kind of details on on what that means. Obviously, this is super new. We are literally seeing this for the very first time. And, you know, for all says, I don't do a huge amount of resin printing, mm. hold my hands up to that. But as a new product coming out from Creality, I think it's pretty exciting. Any ideas on price or is that still uh, under lock and key? Yeah, they're not telling me that. Even, even I have not seen price or release date. Really? I guess we're gonna find out on April 9th. April 9th is the date for- Because we're filming probably... this before that. Exactly, yeah. so you guys are probably gonna already know all this stuff prior to us even knowing anything about it. But the good news is, is that from tonight and tomorrow, I've got two more days of playing around with this and other 3D printers inside of Creality. We've seen some really exciting new printers today as mm -hmm. well. They did tell me when they when they released this too that there's 50 more improvements that they've made. I don't know what those are, but that, that's what they're telling everybody. It's like, it's not just 14K, we're listening to the users yep. and we're changing other things. So leveling and filtering, like you mentioned already, but there's, there's more than 50 other changes on this printer. So. And of course this thing's Cloud-based as well, right? Yeah. I see there's an ethernet port in the back. And so. can I tell you, I love the hinged lid because- That is good. Because oh, the Hallet Play, which is the 4K, you have to pick the lid up and now you have to find a place to put yeah, it. Yeah, this is good. This looks. This does look so good. So I know the Mage and the Mage Pro have that already. That's not new, but I do like it. Yeah, absolutely. I like it as well. I like it too. Again, it looks like an easy to use 
3D printer for resin. And again, it's not necessarily my favorite. I am, FDM is very much where I'm at. But for, for a resin printer, I think 14K, it just blows my mind. Where are we going next? I don't know. Honestly. Like, where does this, where does the madness end? Yeah. But hey, Kevin, thanks for giving us an update on this. I'm gonna get slicing and printing with this. I might not, as I say, I might not do something as quite as glamorous as this guy, but let's get something in 14K. And Find some sort of figurine to print, I'm sure. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna slice this and we'll get straight back to you. Let's try it. This video is sponsored by our friends at PCBWay.com. Discover the future of electronics with PCBWay.com, your go-to destination for cutting-edge PCB solutions. From precision circuit boards to seamless 3D printing, they redefine innovation. Unleash your ideas with their state-of-the-art technology and unrivaled quality. Why settle for less? Choose PCBWay.com, where excellence meets your imagination. Elevate your projects, elevate your success. PCBWay.com, the leading way in PCB and 3D printing excellence. What's going on, guys? We're back with Georgia from Creality. Say hi. Hello. Hi, hi um, Georgia is the person basically behind this printer, the 14K mange printer. Now, we're, we're a bit confused. What are the benefits of this 3D printer over the previous models? Obviously, we get the 14K, yeah. but Kevin and I were a little bit confused on what the Dynex elements were. So what, tell us what are the elements to this that make this really special? Yeah, sure. So you guys are remember that for the HoloMage Pro, that our last year flagship machine is going to be the, uh, the speed can reach to 170 millimeter per hour. But for the HoloMage Pro, the speed can reach to 150 millimeter per hour. That is the Dynex Plus mode because the position has become higher than the HoloMage Pro. The HoloMage Pro is with 8K resolution. But the hard mode is 14K resolution. Yeah. So the highest uh, speed that we can reach is 150 millimeter per hour. Okay. And we have the Dynex Plus mode that, that can additionally get a uh, 15% higher. So, wow. Okay. Yeah. So this is so typically with resin, it's quite a slow process, yeah. or certainly historically, it's been quite a slow process. Right. So this is very much a race on again, like most things, I guess, quality and speed. Mm -hmm. um, what? other features are on this that we need to be aware of? The other benefit about this machine, so the first one, you know the position is be the 14K resolution, and the second one is done X Plus, and the third one we get the new update air purifier. So we get the new formula carbon made inside, but the surface is the same with the HoloMage Pro and HoloMage. Sure. And it can reduce the, like the 33% um, the VOC in the air. It's not just speed and quality, it's also health and safety. Right, because right. the rising, the smell is always a big mistake for our customer. Yeah, I, I mean, I must admit, it's one of the things, there's two things with resin that I personally don't enjoy. Right. The smell is one, the toxicity, yeah. I guess, yeah. is another, and the mess. Now, we're in, right. your, we're in one of your labs here, so this mm -hmm. is where things are made. This is, you know, there's cardboard on the floor, there's, there's yeah. things to mop up, bits and pieces up. Right. And typically, I mean, there's paints over here, there's all sorts, mm -hmm. of, all sorts of bits in here, but this is very much a lab but, to be worked uh, yeah. with, right? Another one is we have optional smart rising filling system, because uh, when you use the HoloMage Pro, there are built-in rising top up. filling system. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but yeah. for the HoloMage S, it's become the option choice. Okay. Because somebody could, because the, um, Resolution become higher and the people can use the has to print jewelry or miniature that some need high detail models and you do not need to like the too much rising because yep. you can just pour in and somebody love the rising smart feeling system and they can just buy it on our website. So it's an additional so it, so before you you had it as a standard most of you obviously listening to the community most um, people were saying, well, we don't really need it. Yeah, because um, it, yes. yeah. it's a little bit hard to clean the feeding system. Okay. Yes. Great. So this is online. This is via the Creality Cloud as well. Yeah. So Also for the software that you, for the Creality Cloud, we got a new upgrade. So when the peer with one for the Mage or Mage Pro, and when you want to print, you have to have a computer or phone with Wi-Fi or USB to transfer your slice file. But for the HoloMage S, you can just uh, download the machine in your printer by just logging to Creality Cloud. And uh, in the future, you can update your HoloMage Pro just by update via v uh, OTA. Oh, okay, cool. Right? And you can use the same software. Fan fabulous, that's great. Yeah. Um, obviously, models are downloadable 
from Creality Cloud. It's yeah. all integrated now. Right. Um, and obviously the ecosystem element is, is great and you're doing a fabulous job with that. Right. It's um, easier than before. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And, and this is about um, the user experience ultimately, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's about how easy it is to get it out of the box right. and actually use, physically use that. Mm -hmm. What about things like all, you know, the, the bed leveling? Is, is that still a thing with this particular printer? Different than the Hello Merge Pro, it's just for the Hello Merge S. Once you leveled and you do not need to repeat this step. So it's one and done. Right. Brilliant. It's just a, like a, a small update for this machine. Great. And do we have a price on this yet? Right. The price is $459. All right. Okay. Right. And the earliest purchase of this machine is in May of this year. Right. Okay. Right. Wow. That's that's Because actually... it's cheaper than the Hadamid Pro, actually. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's incredible. Okay. Well, thank you for... Thank you for let me talk to you. Um, I yeah. think that's ironed out some of the some of the situations. You're but welcome. let's look at some of the prints. You are watching a master at work.